Hi guys, it's Nancy, and I just am having a play day with myself here. Um, I have some stencil, layered stencil uh, pumpkins from the Ton Stamps. This one is called Round Pumpkin Layering Stencil, and I also have the coordinating dies. And this one is called Ella Pumpkin Stencils, you know, like Cinderella. So these are a little more flat. And then I have these little faces jack-o'-lantern stencil faces so I thought let's play with these and make a fun little card so I'm going to start off with my waffle flower blending mat here and this is just a piece of five and a half by four and a quarter um, hundred pound hammer mill card stock just trying to get to stick down to my mat there okay so it's stuck on my glass mat and I have some blending brushes out and I'm going to use my new favorite inks. You guessed it. The Lisa Horton Interference Inks. I cannot stop playing with them. All right, I want a mask. And I want it to be a pretty big mask. Mm, maybe I'll just freehand trace, trace something. And you know what? I have a moon mask somewhere. But where it's at right now, I don't know. Here we go. I'll just trace this. This will be my little mask. And I'm doing it in white gel pen so it doesn't show up close enough that I just need to see the area that it's in. All right. So hmm. I do need to find that. Hold on. I'm going to find the moon mask. Hold on. Okay. I have here the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous layering mask moons so there's a large there's a medium and there's a small and i think they're going to use the medium so you get two layers you get the the mask layer and then you get the detailed layer so perfect for what i need so i think i'm going to start with the mask Use some removable adhesive and just stick that down where I drew my little circle. It's actually the exact, oop, same size. Come on. All right. Gonna do some ink blending. I'll start with some lighter blue. Opal blush shimmer. I'm starting on the stencil and pushing my way out. Okay. Then I'm going to go in with my darker. Let's do a purple. crushed velvet. Mm -hmm. 
Now for ink blending, it helps if you have really juicy inks. And actually dirty brushes work better than clean brushes because they're already saturated with ink. Um, no, I do not separate my pigment brushes from my dye ink brushes. I don't think it really matters that much, honestly. So the more you add, the better it's actually going to blend. I'm going from the outside in with this darker color. go back with the blue again. Oh, that's a different blue. Okay, well that's opal blush. Hello, opal blush. That's not the original color I used, but now we're going to go with it. Okay, that is my night sky. Okay. I'm gonna set that aside to dry. We'll come back and finish that in a moment. Let's work on our pumpkins. Clean up my mat here. Okay, and then for the pumpkins, I'm gonna bring in my little um, sticky mat that I got from Peddler's Den. And another piece of paper. Let's stick that on there. And where are my pumpkins? Let's start with this one. These are the round pumpkin stencils. And we have three layers, light, medium, dark. I don't know if I have three oranges. I'm gonna go diagonal so they all fit on my paper here. And this says number one, light. Let's see, do we have three oranges? We have pumpkin spice. Ripe mango and golden. So, okay, so we're going to start with ripe mango as our lightest orange yellow. And you can see this is a newer brush, so I really want to get it saturated with ink. And these are going to be die cut out, so I'm not worried about any excess ink going out the edges. Okay, that one was ripe mango for my first layer. I'm going to use the same brush and go in with my second layer. This helps to hold the stencils down for sure.
Okay. Number two, it says on here mid-tone. You see that mid-tone? And these are very easy to layer. You just look through, line it up, and the corners stick down to the mat, which makes it easy. And we're going to go with pumpkin spice for the second color. And what's cool is these are going to have a shimmer to them. So it's almost they'll have like a moon glow to them. And it looks like we have some stems. All right, I'll deal with the stems later. Okay, hardest part so far is unsticking the stencils from the mat. Oh, that looks pretty already. Okay, that's number two. And then repeat the process for number three. Okay, and we're gonna go with a little bit darker red. This is Golden Sun, which is an orangey red. We don't need too much of this because this is the last layer. And if you are looking for really beautiful, easy to layer stencils, I know layering stamps are fun, but lay layering stencils are a little bit easier. I know some people get intimidated by the layering stamps, but the layering stencils are pr really easy. You'll want to go check out the ton stamps because, oh, she has such a beautiful selection. And you guys can see how beautiful these are. And then we have the dies, coordinating dies, that we can cut all of these out now. Look at that. With one pass. And then we can stencil in our stems. And I don't know if you guys can see, look at the shimmer. Oh my gosh, I love these inks. Like I said, I'm just having a play date here with myself. Just was like, hey, I haven't used these stencils yet. Let me get these out. I get enabled just like the rest of you guys. And I have been obsessed with these inks. So I really was like, let me go see if I, if I can go do some layering stencils with them. Because I hadn't tried that really yet. I've done ink blending. I've done stamping. Look how perfectly those cut out. Oh, that one I probably could have moved down a little bit, but look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so now we want to stencil our stems. Let me just clean these up real quick. So how I clean my stencils is I just use my same stamp cleaner, spray them, and I have a microfiber cloth, and I just gently wipe them down. Now, if they have any kind of like um, glitter paste or you know gel paste on them, those go up to the sink and get washed in warm water with a nail brush. Now, there are some delicate pieces here, so be careful. And then I flip them over and wipe the back side. Okay, so it looks like only layer two and layer three have the stems. So let's bring our little sticky mat back in. And we're gonna need to line this up. I don't know 
if we can do these all in one pass or if we need to Okay, so that looks like the second layer. So, of course, of course, I would line up the wrong layer, but that's okay. And pumpkins, yes, will stick to that little sticky mat. Ah, oh, makes it so easy. All right, so this layer is going to be the lighter green layer. Greens. What do we have for greens? And I have a little swatch, little swatch sticker on there, so I know what my colors are. So we need a lighter green and a darker green. So we're gonna go in with summer garden, very light, light, light summer garden. Did I really need a stencil for that? Probably not. I probably could have did that on my own. <laughs> okay. Pretty. Now we're gonna go with layer two, which is going to give them a little more detail. Those two line up. The third guy, I'll have to move him in a second. But we'll do one at a time. Oh, the darker green is Magic Garden. There are our pumpkins. All right, let's do their little faces while we're here. Their little jack-o'-lantern faces. Where? <laughs> and they're different sizes, so they will fit. And I want... Okay, so it looks like they're the same faces, but two different sizes. So depending on which pumpkins you use, it's the same design, but one's a larger, one's a smaller. So just you decide which one you want to use. And I want to go more traditional here. So I am going to do these, and I am going to do black. I wish I could do them in yellow, make them glow, maybe with some embossing powder. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to go in with some black. So some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And I have a small black brush. Obviously I don't do a lot of ink blending with black because that's never been used. All right, let's go over to the smaller faces for these two. You know, I 
I think I've only carved pumpkins with my kids a couple times. I don't remember. My dad did it with us when we were really young. He only did it a few times as well. But, you know, I think I need to do that with my kids. I haven't done that in a really long time. This one has eyelashes, so it must be a girl. <laughs> Okay, there are our little, now they're not just pumpkins, they're jack-o'-lanterns, like, because once, once you put faces on them, they are now jack-o'-lanterns. All right, let's set those aside to dry, because that is a pigment ink. Let's bring our background back in. We can lift our mask. Okay, we're gonna rub that little removable stickiness off of there. Good. Okay, and then we have our craters. And I'm just gonna grab a gray brush. I have some light gray ink here, pebble. And I'm just gonna hold this and Lightly put some of that gray in place. All right, that is our moon. That's essentially the background of our card. We have a little bit of glowing. Mm. I almost want to do a really light, light, light blue. light blue. Help me out, you guys. Let's do this, oh boy. I like that better. Instead of it just being stark white blue, you can see my gel pen lines that I traced. It's fine. Okay. All right. I think that's good. Let's bring our pumpkins back in. more but I think three is enough I think if I do any more this like if it were a slim line or a larger maybe a five by seven it would be good but I think we're gonna hang these guys off a little bit here and then we'll pop this one up in the middle oh my gosh it's so cute okay let's stick this layer down to our card base Okay, 
Oh my gosh. So stinking cute. And I had an extra, yes, here it is, Halloween banner. Let's bring that in. I can pick it up. Isn't that adorable? Those those pumpkins are really cool looking, but then when you add the little faces, oh my gosh, so cute. I am gonna clean this up a little bit. I told you guys how much I love these Spellbinder scissors. Where have they been my whole life? Okay. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. And there's so much shine on those pumpkins and on the background. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so I want to know what is your favorite Halloween tradition, if you have one? What is your favorite Halloween tradition? Share that in the comments down below, and I will pick a winner and I will send you this card. So share down below if you want a chance to win this. And yes, international can also, because I can mail this international. Share down below what is a Halloween tradition, something that you do. Like, do you decorate your house every year? Do you dress up every year? Do you throw a party every year? I don't really have anything. Um, most of my career, I worked on Halloween because it's the last day of the month. So I missed out with my kids a lot of years. But in the last couple of years, I've tried to make up for it. And I've been dressing up and going trick-or-treating with my daughter. And I forgot how much fun that is. So I want to know what is a tr tradition you do for Halloween? What do you do to celebrate? And um, yeah, I will pick a winner and I will send someone this card. If you're interested in any of these products, again, they were from the Ton Stamps. And this particular set was called round pumpkins layering stencils plus the round pumpkins coordinating dies there was also the ella pumpkins if you are interested in a little shorter stouter pumpkin there you can see that that's that um and then the moon stencil came from stampers anonymous and then the inks i will link those those are from joggles or scrapbook.com so i had a lot of fun and if you have any questions, post them down below. If you had fun watching me make this card, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.